Hello there, my name is Lisa Werimo from Lockwood Girls High School, Form 3. Welcome to Science Hub. My colleagues are Shalom Malizi, Shireen Taylor. Today we will be discussing nitrogen cycle and energy flow in an ecosystem and ecology. The nitrogen cycle simply means the cycling of nitrogen and its compound in nature. Nitrogen is essential in the manufacture of, pro of proteins by organisms. Organisms cannot utilize the free nitrogen in the atmosphere. Therefore, plants must absorb it in forms of nitrates and assimilate it into plants' proteins. Animals obtain the nitrogen in form of proteins by eating the plants which accumulate the nitrogen in the air. Nitrogen fixation is done by nitrogen fixing microorganisms, which is called biological fixation. We will give an example of biological fixation. Rhizobium of the root of the, legu of the legumes, which converts nitrogen into ammonia, which is then utilized by plants to make proteins. Biological fixation is also done by free living bacteria, Azotobactra and, and Clastrodium, Sun algae, e.g., Cholerae, Anabaena, and Gnostic fix, and Gnostic fix nitrogen into ammonia, which is, which is converted into nitrates. There is a system whereby we are shown how nitrogen is obtained from the air and how it is accumulated by plants and animals, which is known as the nitrogen cycle. I'm going to demonstrate it using a diagram on the board. Mm, we start by whereby we have free nitrogen. This is nitrogen that is, on, that is in the atmosphere, which is N2. The scientific symbol of nitrogen is free nitrogen, which is found in the atmosphere, is N2. Then we have the nitrates. Which is the N, NO3. Then we have nitrite. Just As I've said earlier, we have free nitrogen from the atmosphere. Which is N2. Then we have the nitrates, which is NO3. Then we have the nitrites, which is NO2. Then here we have ammonia. which is NH3. Then here we have plants. We have animals. Now we are going to show you the direction of how nitrogen is cycled by how nitrogen cycles and how the plants and the animals are going to accumulate this free nitrogen from the air. As we said, plants and animals cannot accumulate it directly, especially animals. So it has to be the plants have to accumulate it to make the nutrients so that the animals can get it. Now I'm going to explain how that goes. From the free nitrogen, it comes all the way to 
ammonia. This process is this process is whereby fixation by this is the process whereby fixation is done by free living microorganisms. From free nitrogen to the ammonia, this is fixation by free living microorganisms. Then from the ammonia to the nitrites, which is NO2, we have the nitrifying bacteria. This is the nitrifying bacteria. As you can see, this nitrite is NO2 and this nitrate is NO3. So meaning, when the nitrite changes into nitrate, it is also a nitrifying bacteria. So from the nitrite to the nitrate, it is also a nitrifying bacteria. Then from the nitrates, again it goes back to the free nitrogen. Now when you come to the nitrates, to the free nitrogen, that is the nitrifying bacteria. Because it is back to square one, so that one is the nitrifying. Bacteria. We also have another fixation from free nitrogen whereby it can be converted directly to the nitrates and this process is done by fixation by lightning. Then when it has when the free nitrogen has converted into the nitrates, the plants only accumulate it by absorption. And the animals can get it through the plants by feeding. There is also another way whereby plants and animals can directly convert into ammonia. This is whereby they both die. This is whereby when the plants and animals die, they decay by saprophytic bacteria and fungi. So when, they, when plants and animals convert directly into ammonia, that, that simply means they have decayed by saprophytic bacteria. So that is there, followed by When plants and animals automatically become ammonia, this is whereby they die and they decay by the help of saprophytic bacteria or fungi. Free nitrogen can also come directly to the plants whereby we have fixation by free symbiotic microorganisms.
As you can see, the animals are getting the free nitrogen in an indirect way, not like the nitrates which can either be denitrified or fixed by lightning. The animals accumulate it in different ways, whereby it has to pass through a source so as to reach them. As you say, the plants need to accumulate it because animals cannot get it from free from the air. Yeah, and that's the nitrogen cycle. On to energy flow in an ecosystem. Here we will talk about the tropic levels. The first tropic level Come to the primary consumers, as I've said, an example is grass. An example of a primary consumer are the herbivores. Example, goat, cattle. An example of a secondary consumer is dog. And an example of a tertiary consumer are the vultures. Now, we come to making the food chain. A food chain is the energy flow from a producer to the last tropic level, which is either tertiary consumer or quaternary consumers. An example of a food chain We can have lime as the secondary consumer, and we can have a vulture. As the tertiary consumer. Going on to food webs, a food web is a complex network of food chains linked to one another. An example of a food food web is
Then we have the grasshopper here, which is eaten by the chicken. The chicken is eaten by a carrot. And then, then, yes. Then we go to the we go to the ecological pyramids. In ecological pyramids, there are three types. We have the pyramid of numbers, the pyramid of biomass, and the pyramid of energy. Pyramid of numbers is formed by the number of organisms per trophic level in a natural ecosystem. In constructing a pyramid of numbers, use data collect, collected pro, or provided. The second one is from the data, identify and draw the most suitable food chain. The third one is indicate the numbers at each trophic level in the food chain. The fourth one is choose a suitable scale for the data. In pyramid of biomass, this is the constant dry. Biomass is the constant dry weight of an organism. In, we have come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. I've been Lisa Werimo, Shalin Malizu, Shivain Taylor, Kipi Telimo TV, Watch and Learn.